I'm in love with fishing, and fishing's what I do. And if you want to try them up, I'll take you fishing too. Maybe in the morning, in the day or at night. It don't really matter, I just want to get that bite. We may catch a limit or maybe just a few. But even if the fish don't bite, just being out here do. We may fish the ocean or river running free. And if you catch the biggest one, it'll be alright by me. Yes, I'm in love with fishing and fishing in my life. So grab your pole and go with me. This is the life of a fisherman wife. Let's go pull them in. <laughs> Let's go. Well, guys, you can see all the snow is gone. <laughs> Just about. You got a little taste over there. You got a little taste over there. All the snow off the boat is gone. So we're going to go see if the river is open. All right. I'll get back with you later. Hi guys, Bishop Ed here. I'm back on the river. Uh, like 30, mm, 35 degrees right now. It's supposed to be getting up to 54. Uh, went to some of my other holes. The ice has start, started to form on the lakes, so you can't get out there unless you want to take the boat out and break some ice with your boat. But I knew the river would still be open, so I'm going to get you flipped around. So it has dropped. It was up here at those rocks last week but now it's dropped about two foot but let me show you guys something i've heard of a spring die off but look at the crappie down there did look at all those crappie man i mean crappie everywhere i don't know what happened oh you know what i do know what happened Somebody caught crappie, filleted them, and threw all the, uh, uh-oh, threw all the guts out there. And they accidentally threw one whole one away right there. But all those crappies, crappie are, uh, filleted. There's got to be about 15 of them. Wow. I thought it was a die-off at first when I seen that, uh, that, uh, whole one there. Huh. <laughs> they accidentally missed out on one, but... Yeah, let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I count about nineteen. There's probably more further out in the water. All right, let me see if I can catch some of those. We're gonna jig down through here. Uh, this is normally my crappie hole, but honestly, I've never caught any crappie with the water this high and moving this fast. So. Uh, we're gonna give it a try. I know there are some walleye in here. Might catch some uh some more smallies or you know who knows you may catch a straight crappie or so so we're gonna get out here and see what we can do. Oh I'm fishing with this uh Perry Pippington jig fish I mean a uh, tip with a uh a gup minnow and I got a couple shots of weight uh weight above it. Uh yeah my mouth cold so <laughs> excuse the talking but uh we're gonna see if we can get with this combo. All right. All right, guys, that water is clear. That's a picture of all the stuff I've been fishing, fishing around in spring. See how that long water is? Yep, that's why we're catching the crop here. Right? <coughs> Excuse me. And here's the other one, right there. Now the, the river has been up a lot and that that wall used to be closer to the rocks but you see that uh the current been tearing up the bank and pushing that the wood and stuff further and further out into the water after a while that won't be there anymore yeah be gone. yeah just keep on keep on doing that trying to make it small mm -hmm. All right, I might have cut it off to make it small. All right, there we go. We got it smaller now. I see there's another log right there that extends out into the water. 
pretty far. If you look down through there, you can see a whole lot of other pieces. Yeah, I got this uh, jig down there. If you can see, it's moving faster out there. But it's a, a couple of rocks here. I don't know if you can see them, a couple of rocks there. And there's a little dip in here that I fished around for years. So I know that in here, the water's gonna be moving a little bit slower. So I'm jigging out uh, in the faster water. Then I'm jigging back into the calmer water. And I keep doing that just in and out. And uh, we'll see if we can get all right, got a walleye guy. All right. Oh, am I filming on him? Okay, I gotta turn it around. All right, there he is. <laughs> I think I was filming wrong backwards, guy. But anyway, that's the first one of the day. It's cold. 30 degrees, well, 35 degrees, and uh, I caught this one on this. It's just a Perry and Pippa to chartreuse and black jig tip with a gut mineral. Uh, and that's what he did. I got to get my, uh, that's a leaf right there. I got to get my uh, tape marriage and see how long he is. All right, let's see if we can get another one. All right, guy, I got another one. See if I can get him up and hold with one hand without losing it. Oh, got him. That's another walleye, guy. All right, one for me and one for Linda. Hopefully I get some more. Got a little uh, rock bass. All right, uh, I might keep him. We'll see. Well, guys, I only got one more hit, and uh, I really don't think he bit it. I think it, uh, I snagged a carp across the back. Uh, he got off before I got him in, but I think it was a carp. He, he got hooked way out there, and he jumped up two or three times, and the hook popped loose, and it uh, looked like it was across his back, but it did look like a carp. But uh, it's starting to get a little more cloudier, getting a few snowflakes falling, if you can see it. So I might go down by the bridge. I don't know. But in case I don't, we're going to ask you to make tomorrow better than today. And until next time, God bless and good fishing. Peace. I know Linda going to say something about my hand in the way. Bye. All right, guys. I moved down by the bridge. This is the only thing I caught. Some spider wire, some, uh, uh, I forgot what they call it, braided line. Uh, tried a few more spots. I even changed jigs, but ain't nothing going on. But it's the perfect opportunity to show you guys when I catch a line, a fine line on the ground, this is what you look for right here. A lot of times, if it's not one around, I keep it and uh, put it in a bag or something until I find one of these. And uh, you put your monofilament uh, in these, see right there, it gets recycled. That way the animals won't get tangled up in it. And uh, well, it's a monofilament, so I don't know if they do braid or not. Uh, so I guess I won't put it in there, guys, because I'm not sure. So I take this home and burn it. I do that too. Uh, that way animals won't get now that fishing's over sun is getting low yes i caught a big one but i just had to let him go yes he was a nice one he was the biggest of the day show felt mighty good to me just to watch him swim away may not ever see him again this i know is true but now that he is swimming free, you might catch him too. Glad you came to fish with me, yes it was really nice. 
Maybe we can go again on the life of a fisherman's wife. Until next time, God bless and good fishing. Peace.